Today, I will be hands on with Africa's most venomous snake, the Boomslang. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't the Black Mamba the most venomous snake in Africa? Well, join me as I venture into the wilderness to unveil the secrets of this incredible snake. However, I am very nervous because Boomslang are shy and anxious snakes that can be hard to handle. Also, I cannot ignore the fact that the majority of recorded Boomslang bite victims are snake handlers. But no need to worry, guys, that won't stop me. All right, guys, so the first step to finding Boomslang is to find the perfect habitat. Right now, you see behind me is the ocean. We're right here on a coastal fainbos type thicket, which is absolutely perfect. It's got chameleons, it's got birds, and it's got the eggs. All the things Boomslang love to eat. Isn't that just perfect? Let's get out there. And another thing that's really important is, guys, you know I have my hook stick, and I've got my special little point here to stop the Boomslang from sliding down. One time I hooked a Boomslang right up, didn't have this piece here, he slid right down onto my arm. Thankfully he wasn't out to get me, but man, that scared the balls out of me, so I've got this bad boy on. The name Boomslang is Afrikaans for tree snake, which is a good indicator as to where I should look for them. And on top of that, I think I'm on the right trail. The flavor of these trees are just about right. Or maybe not. Okay, here we go, here we go. Got a Boomslang, got the tail. Watching the head, that's it, that's it. Perfect. Did you see how fast that was, guys? Worms are incredibly fast snakes. That's often why you often see so little of them in the wild. It's one way to get your adrenaline up. All right, there you go. That's it. Give me a second to calm down so he can calm down as well. Now, this is a male, and I can tell it's a male because look at these colors. That black dorsal region, that yellowish green belly, that's typical of the male. Many people don't know this, but Boomslang are actually sexually dimorphic, meaning that you can identify their sex based on their colors. Now you may notice, this snake is the most venomous snake in Africa, drop for drop. They have the most potent venom, requiring the least amount of venom to kill an adult. However, you notice how he doesn't want to hurt me. Let me explain this in more detail. Black Mambas carry about 100 to 300 milligrams of venom, and 15 milligrams is all that's needed to kill an adult. The Boomslang, however, only carries 2 to 8 milligrams of venom and only needs 0.07 milligrams of venom to kill an adult, making the Boomslang's venom over 15 times more lethal than a Mamba's. But remember, there is a difference between most venomous and most dangerous. He is just watching me. These guys have really large eyes. You take a look at that. These guys have binocular vision. They can spot a chameleon sitting at the top of the tree from the bottom, go all the way up there and catch it like it's nothing. Absolutely crazy. And now he's actually hanging and just relaxing really nicely, which I'm really, really happy for. Some snakes can be really hard to deal with, especially Boomslang. I've got videos of them death rolling in the hook, spinning around trying to break free. Some of them are puffing their neck and it just, they can be incredibly difficult to handle. And believe it or not, just because this snake is rear fanged, meaning its fang is situated underneath its eye instead of in the front of the mouth, like vipers, doesn't mean that this guy can't bite you. He can bite you anywhere on your body. They can open their mouth up to 170 degrees. That's enough to bite you just about anywhere. And all you need is just a scratch. They don't even have to bite you properly. And then you're envenomated. They have a hemotoxic venom. And their type of hemotoxic venom causes you to bleed out of every hole in your body. Boomslang are only responsible for up to five to 10 bites a year, and only 10 deaths have ever been recorded globally from these snakes. So even though their venom is more potent than the black mambas, they don't carry a lot of it, and it's also quite a slow acting venom. That's why it's so important to distinguish between what's most venomous and what's most dangerous. A black mamba's venom is much more dangerous than a Boomslang's venom, even though they need a lot more of that venom to kill an adult. That's where people often get that dilemma between the most venomous and the most dangerous. That's way too close to my hand. All right, thankfully, like I said, the snake has no interest in hurting me. You see, the snake is so calm, I can handle it with my hands if I really want to. However, never, ever handle a snake with your bare hands, especially if you don't know what it is. And even if it is a venomous one, and even if you are an expert, don't do it. It's not worth the risk. And also, if you're a snake handler out there, we're going to move to the bush here because we're going to let him go. And you are free handling snakes. You're giving a bad impression for snakes and to people because number one, you're telling people, hey, it's okay to handle these snakes as long as you don't get bitten. But then you get bitten and you make the rest of the snake handlers look bad 
and you keep the snakes looking like an evil entity that they often made out to be in movies. Let's keep this head up higher and we're gonna put him down like this. And I mean, he's so beautiful. Hey, big guy. Look at this reversing. He's actually reversing to my hand because he thinks my hand is the tree. You see that? So he thinks my hand is where it's safe. So he feels like he's out in the open, but in fact, the trees are out in front of him. So if I do this, just put him down here and I let go of that tail. Maybe I'll give it a little tickle and he should go the opposite direction. Look at that, hey. Woo -hoo. Man, I love the Boomslang. If you guys thought the Boomslang was really cool, then be sure to check out this venomous Cape Cobra in the yard. And if that doesn't interest you, then here's a playlist.